Ah, uh, my favorite time of the year, Q4. Ladies and gents, as we're moving into the first month of Q4, October, there's tons and tons of products out there for you to capitalize from. So therefore, in this video, I'll be sharing five winning dropshipping products to start selling on your Shopify store ASAP. What is going on YouTube fam? It's your boy Yash. Welcome back to the channel and if you're new then welcome to it. So like I said as we're moving into the month of October it's very crucial that you guys go out there and start testing valuable and quality products if you already have not. And if you already found a winning or consistent product that is absolutely great. In that case you can go ahead and test at least one of the products from today's video and potentially scale them. These five products have six and seven figure potential out there in the market as I've done my full product research, validation, and due diligence behind all five of these products. The great thing is I'm not going to leave you hanging, right? I'm not just going to give you guys a product, but with each product, I'll also be sharing the approximate cost price, the markup for that product, the type of store that product would work well on, the gender or genders to target on paid advertising platforms. Speaking of paid advertising platforms, five Facebook interests that you can utilize when testing and launching that product, and last but not least, the type of creative or creatives that would work well for that specific product. That way, you guys are well equipped with the information for each product in order to maximize your results. Before we do move forward into the video, make sure you guys do get your good deed of the day out and done with and drop a like on this video. While you're at it, feel free to also subscribe to the channel with your post notification bell turned on so you guys are updated with all recent and new videos. Without any further ado, ladies and gents, let's hop into my computer so we can take a look at these five winning dropshipping products. So ladies and gents, before we do get into these five proven products to start dropshipping from October 2021, a lot of you guys have been asking me, Yash, is there a community where you can be in touch with myself and others? Well, there absolutely is, guys. If you have already not joined my free Facebook group, Ecom Masterminds, definitely do so. I'll be leaving a link down in the description below so definitely check it out and I'll see you at the table the first product on our list today guys is the tactical stocking I saw about two or three stores doing very well with this product so it definitely has a lot of potential yes this is more of a seasonal product that people can buy as a stocking obviously more different than your traditional stocking and really people can choose to stuff the stocking with whatever they really want I would guess you know they would give this to people who are into outdoors camping also great for veteran families and stuff like that it comes in four different colors as you can see red khaki army green and jet black now even though this is a seasonal product or more of a holiday or Christmas product this is definitely a mass targetable and approachable product which definitely makes the potential very very high so overall as y'all can see it makes a great piece for people's house during the Christmas times really again is more unique than just your traditional stocking with that being said let's take a further dive into this product so it can help you better sell it now the margins for the tactical stocking are absolutely great the approximate cost price is five dollars and 45 cents we can mark it up for three to five X more the original cost price per unit. I also recommend implementing an app such as volume and discounted pricing to go ahead and increase the AOV average order value. If you ask me because of the nature of this product, I think people may definitely buy more than one, maybe even one in every single color. So implementing an app like volume and discounted pricing can definitely benefit you in the long run. If we're talking about type of store to sell this product on ladies and gents, we can definitely sell it on a micro branded one product store in in fact, you'll see that all these products on today's list, guys, can be successfully sold on a branded one product store, which is essentially a store honed down to one product and one product only. If you do want to see how I exactly build and structure my micro branded one product stores, click on that link right there in the top right and it should take you to it. Now, if you don't want to do a one product store, that's completely fine. You can also have a general niche or niche store somewhere within outdoors and tactical accessories. For gender, I really don't think this is a gender biased product. It is more 
more so neutral, so we would definitely be targeting both male and female. As promised, five potential Facebook ad interests include veterans, family, Christmas decoration, United States Air Force, and of course, outdoor recreation. Moving forward to the types of ad creatives that would work well for the stocking, I think we can definitely utilize a single image ad because it doesn't need a lot of unfolding or demonstration behind it. Now your single image ad can definitely be either a solo ad or a collage ad. You can definitely also split test it with a carousel ad in which you can show different angles and different colors and different variants of the tactical stocking. Next, Next, we have the cat paw ring. This product can absolutely not only kill it with Facebook ads, but also with influencers on Instagram and TikTok. You can go ahead and reach out and work with cat pages, theme pages, or even with personal influencers as well, since this is a very mass targetable and approachable product. Pretty much anyone who likes cats or kittens can definitely go ahead and wear something like this. I think it makes a great piece and overall jewelry is a very highly lucrative and profitable niche. One more thing I like about this specific cat paw ring, ladies and gents, is that it is resizable. One size fits all, so that definitely decreases your chances of getting refunds, chargebacks, and disputes, and just people complaining in general. We can also see that this specific product has 303 reviews at an average of a 4.6 star rating, which definitely means the product is of good quality. Overall, this makes a great product not only as a gift for Q4, but also a great evergreen product as well. We can also also see that this product is definitely on the rise because this specific supplier has almost 10,000 pieces available so that should definitely tell you something. With that being said let's further take a look into the product. The cat paw ring even has better margins than the tactical stocking if you ask me because of its high perceived value. Accessories, jewelry, apparel, all of those items and sub niches definitely have high perceived values in general so the market can definitely be super super high. In this case the cost price is $1.23 per unit and we can sell it for 10 to 15x more if you ask me. For store type, once again, a micro branded one product store. If you do want to go niche or general niche, I think a jewelry or a cat specific product store would also work really well for the ring. This is more so of a gender biased product. I think more females would definitely be buying this for someone that they know or better yet for themselves. So we would only be targeting female. Five interests on Facebook that you can definitely utilize include cat lady, cats, kitten, Royal Cannon, which is a big, big food brand for pets in general, and ring. Once again, the cat paw ring is super self-explanatory. It's a ring, really there's not much to it. So we can definitely utilize a single image ad, either a solo or a collage. And of course, you can have a carousel ad in which you can add up to nine different and unique pictures of the cat paw ring. This portable foot exerciser is quite frankly pretty new in general. Self and personal care products, wellness products do super, super well. With something like this, guys, there's so many different marketing angles you can take. Simply sell it to someone who's into fitness and wellness, maybe people who have foot pain or arthritis. Again, there's a lot of different angles and therefore their longevity and the scalability of the product is limitless. Not only can it be utilized as a muscle and pain reliever perhaps, but also it's great for those who want to increase their balance and whatnot. We can see it comes in four different colors so we can give people options. Again, this product is relatively new and we can see this specific supplier has 14 thousand pieces available. Because this product is still new, I think the cost price is a little bit more perhaps because of the material and the weight of it as well. But anywho, the cost price is $17.55. This might decrease as the product goes more and more common in the market. And we can sell it for 2 to 4x more the original cost price per unit. You guessed it, a micro branded one product store would work well. If we do want to go niche or general niche, there's plenty of options, health and wellness, fitness, and of course, personal and self-care. So because of the characteristics and nature of the foot exerciser, I do believe it's more of a woman dominated product. But at that same time, we never want to assume. We only want to let the data do the talking because I think technically men can also make use of something like this, right? You never know. So therefore we do want to target both male and female. And then later on in your advertising and marketing journey, you realize that more of your traction is coming from females. More of your sales are coming from a woman based audience. You can 
definitely narrow down and double down on women. With that being said, five potential Facebook ad interests include wellness, yoga, spas, running, new balance. Honestly, this specific product has a lot of targetability, but these are just a few interests that I know would work well for a fact. A product like this is definitely one that needs further explanation, unfolding, and demonstration, really to show how it works, what are the features, what are the benefits, how to really go ahead and utilize it, and more importantly, the end result as well. So with that being said, I think definitely utilizing a video ad would be something that's needed. Now, I don't recommend putting all your eggs and all your bets into one video or into one creative to say the least. I definitely recommend split testing. So either you can split test the creative, meaning the video, or the thumbnail. That in mind, you can have something like video one, thumbnail one, video two, thumbnail one, or on the other hand, you can go ahead and change out the thumbnails and have something like video one, thumbnail one, video one, thumbnail two. The choice is absolutely yours. Toys are no doubt super, super big when it comes to Q4. A lot of adults and parents in general are buying toys for toddlers, for kids, just for little ones in their life. This product, the two-in-one, motorcycle RC drone it's a super super cool product this is more of a new product out there in the market it is super untapped as to my belief so I think it has a lot of potential if you do get on it as soon as possible so let me go ahead and explain further what the product does so not only is it a motorcycle but it also turns into a drone in which it can fly. It also comes with a camera option. That is something that you can go ahead and sell. Let me actually go ahead and play the video so you can further see what the product does. Awesome. So this video is a little bit long, so I'm going to go ahead and skip through it. But we can see that you can go ahead and fly it as a drone. Let me actually go back. There we go. So again, it can transform into a drone. I think that's pretty cool. Honestly, I would have something like this. That's how you know this is a great product. But yeah, you guys basically get the point. I think kids would absolutely love something like this. Technically, it is an evergreen product. So if you do have the data and once you're scaling, you can still scale it after Christmas and after Q4 as well to really gain the most profitability. The cost price is a little bit on the higher side because it is an electronic product. It is still scarce since it is a newer product like I mentioned before. So depending on the one with the camera or without the camera, the cost price is $23.97 to $41.83. It is more of a mid to high ticket item and we can sell it for about three to four X more. Toys in general do have a very high perceived value. And as to my understanding, parents and adults always do wanna go ahead and spoil their kids. So people will definitely pay top price for toys like such. Honestly, I know I said that a micro rented one product store can work well for every product, but I really think for something like this, guys, a one product store would work absolutely the best. Yet, if you do wanna to go towards a niche or general niche store, games and toys would still be a good route to go. Absolutely not a gender biased product, a mom, a dad, a grandma, grandpa, aunt, uncle, older siblings, younger siblings, you basically get the point, you can definitely go ahead and buy this product. So we would be targeting both male and female. Five potential Facebook ad interests include parents with kids between the age of three and 13. Yes, we can target by demographic on Facebook if you already did not know. More so toddler, kids toys, Lego, and child development are also other ones that you can go ahead and utilize, of course. For this type of product, y'all, people can't really tell about how this is a two-in-one motorcycle and RC drone. So we would definitely need to have a video and really showcase the product to see how it really works, how cool this product is, because quite frankly, it is pretty darn cool if you agree. So we definitely need to utilize a video ad with a corresponding thumbnail, either split testing the video or the thumbnail. This Love 3D art wall is definitely climbing and has a lot of potential. I think this may makes a great gift and also a great evergreen product because home decor can quite frankly be sold throughout the year. Everyone has a living space, so it is very mass targetable and mass approachable. There are different sizes, again, from 20 to 25 centimeters, 
all the way to the largest, which includes 100 by 130 centimeters. There are three different variants, as y'all can see. You can call these whatever you guys want, get creative with it. So of course you can sell them individually and you can also sell them as a bundle to go ahead and increase your AOV or average order value. I think these contemporary art pieces make a really cool look for people's homes. These come with no frame, so either you can try and find a supplier that do include the frame that would probably make the cost price and the weight a little bit heavier, but at that same time, you can definitely go ahead and just find a separate frame based on the dimensions you're selling and cross sell that at even a higher price to go ahead and increase your AOV average order value even further. And if we do look closely, 67 reviews, 4.4 star rating, and this supplier, ladies and gents, almost has 33,000 pieces available. So this product is undoubtedly about to pop off. The cost price for the Love 3D art wall really does have a big range as y'all can see. And this is because it can really depend on what you're selling in terms of dimensions and size of the piece itself. There's some that are really small, some in the medium tier and some that are really large. So depending on which variant, that can range between $3.65 to $45.88. Now overall, home decor and art do really have a high perceived value especially something super unique like this that has a great wow and impulsive factor behind it, which by the way, definitely makes it a much easier sell. So I believe we can definitely mark it up for three to four X more, the original cost price per unit, making it anywhere from a low ticket to mid ticket to high ticket purchase or high ticket item, depending on what variants the people go ahead and buy. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, 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 yes. A micro branded one product store would work phenomenal. No need to worry if you don't want to go that route and you do want to go rather the niche or general niche route. Home decor and art can also be great options to sell this product on. I would say anyone can buy something like this for themselves, for someone that they know, a loved one, a family member, a friend, so on and so forth. So targeting male and female would definitely work well. Five potential Facebook ad interests include abstract art, painting, interior design, IKEA, and home. For ad creative types, guys, I think this is a very simple product. Just by looking at it, people can see you know, what this product really is. So therefore, single image ad, either a solo or collage would work phenomenal. And of course, you can have a carousel ad showcasing different sizes, different environments. You know, you can go ahead and place the art piece and maybe even different versions and different variants as well. So all of these creative types would work phenomenal for the Love 3D art wall. And there you guys have it. Those are the five winning dropshipping products I recommend to start selling on your Shopify store, not only throughout October and Q4, but potentially afterwards as well. Also, if you did make it till this point in the video, then I appreciate you. I appreciate that. I hope this video was informative and helpful. Be sure to drop your questions thoughts or concerns in the comments down below because I do reply to each and every single one of them. Furthermore, guys, feel free to check out all the links and resources down in the description below as they can and will be very helpful for your Shopify dropshipping store. Other than that, thank you guys so much for tuning in once again. Remember to keep working hard and more importantly, continue staying awesome. Until the next one, your boy's out. Peace.